Yes. How are you? Thanks. I'm doing okay. All things considered, but my car won't start, and I hope you can help. I just replaced the starter, which didn't do it, and the battery is good. Okay. Uh, just for grants, I tried hooking up. Uh, I tried to jump it, thinking maybe the amperage was a little low, and that didn't do it either. Okay. You're making a model of the vehicle oh, with the engine size, please. 2012 Toyota RAV4, the 2D RFE V6 engine. 3.5, okay. I have two of these. Does it click when you try to start it? No, there is no click. Okay. Is the security light on by chance? The security, what, the red blinking light, you mean? Yes, is there any security light on, on solid or flashing? Yes. Everything appears normal with the power uh, from the battery. The lights come on, the door locks work, and everything, and they they uh, they click when I activate the door locks. Like there's good amperage. The battery is good, I'm sure. Um, Does this have I'm smart on, key? Down, you know, it started. See again. Does this have smart key? And I held, I held the smart key right next to the button while starting it, and that didn't make any difference. It's talking to the smart key, all right. It's getting, uh, it's getting signals to and from the smart key. I don't suspect that because when I walk up to the car, I can unlock and lock the doors. So the smart key is talking to the car. Okay. It's, it's just when I press the start button. After putting my foot on the brake and the green light comes on, all the lights on the dash come on, but no click, no start. Have you checked for Have you checked for diagnostic trouble codes in the computer? No, I've not. I haven't got anybody out here yet. The one mechanic my sister called is too busy. They don't have a mobile to come out and then plug it in. Okay. Folks. Well, if the security light's not on or flashing, and the starter's not the yeah. problem, the f it is the security light is flashing. Okay, all right. So if if you if you turn the ignition on, right, with everything powered up, the dash and the gauges are working. Is the security light still flashing? Turn on the ignition on this. It's a smart key. All you can do is press, step on the brake, get the green light, and attempt to start it. So, what happens if you don't step on the brake and then you press the button? Well, then you get the accessory mode. Right. Comes on. So, what I want you to do is, I want you to, I want you to get it in accessory mode, and I want you to check for the security light on or flashing. It is okay. All right. And now you're on the phone on my car. So that's working with the accessory. If I press it again, all the lights come on uh, as though the ignition were on. And when I do that, all the dash lights come on for a moment to test. And then the oil check engine power steering, automatic transmission, oil temp, and battery lights remain on. Okay. The security is still flashing. Okay. All right. Yeah, we so, got and I'm, and I'm pressing, and everything goes off as advertised. Everything okay. is normal except the start motor. Well, <clears throat> the security light shouldn't remain on or it shouldn't remain flashing, you know, in if it's if everything was normal. Right, so the security light would come on and then it would go off after a bulb check. So if the security light remains on, then yeah, we got a security problem. And if the smart key is working, then we could have an issue with that computer. So what I would recommend that you do, some, 
somebody should plug into the computer system to check for codes <clears throat> and communication with the main engine computer and the immobilizer unit. Maybe one of these modules are locked up. <clears throat> what you could try to do is if you disconnect the battery cables from the battery and rub the cables together for a few minutes, that'll discharge the capacitors and all the modules on board the vehicle. And it might basically reboot the system. You can try that. Right now. <clears throat> so we don't have to do it while we're on the phone together. I'm just saying once we're off the phone, you could try that because you're supposed to rub them together for five minutes, according to the engineers. Well, yeah, we don't we don't ha we don't even know the codes in the computer. Nobody plugged in the computer. Did you check all the fuses? Okay, fuses are good, battery's not the problem, starter's not the problem, and it sounds like, uh, based on your description, the security issue is, um, the security system is tripped. So, um, <clears throat> you know, I don't even know if calling a locksmith would would, would do the trick here, but. You have an ID code box behind center of dash. Um, Steering lock actuator on steering column, instrument panel, certification ECU. I think that's going to be your, your security module here. Well, you, you're right. You yeah, you have a uh, you have an engine control module, and then I think you have a I think there's a different module here for the your security system. So if you want, what I could do is I could connect you with a mobile mechanic. When they come out and they plug into your vehicle, they could actually check for um, codes and communication with all your modules on board the vehicle to see if they see any communication problems or any codes. It's probably going to give us a security-related code, I would be willing to bet. Gosh, I've got a computer out. That's going to be a lot of money. <clears throat> Right. I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'll be dead honest with you. Normally, computers don't go bad on these vehicles. I don't really. We don't really see them a lot. So, um, let's just do yeah. some some testing before we get too concerned about a uh, you know a locked up computer or a bad computer. But um, we just got to see if they're communicating at this point. Mm. Okay, I've got the two battery terminals connected together. Okay, they're right disconnected now. from the battery. I assume, right? Mm. Oh, yes. Okay. All right. Just making sure. Well, I'll let you work on that and you can reply back online. Let me know what you find. It sounds to me like, you know, we definitely got a security issue. Um, but the, but the, the fob is working, you know, cause it's, cause it unlocks and locks the doors, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Locks and unlocks the doors. Just fine. Okay. The steering column is locked. Uh, I didn't try and wiggle that while trying to start, though. Not that that would have made any difference. So, uh, okay. Well, I'll try it again here in another five minutes. See if the uh, everything's been cleared. Okay. Fingers crossed, right? Uh, that's what we've been crossed since last night when we mm -hmm. started. Yeah, I gotcha. Uh, and I... I put a slow charger on the battery, charged overnight, mm -hmm. and it's a uh, diehard trickle battery charger, and the light came on indicate, uh, this morning indicating that it's fully charged. Right. The, char the charger shut off, and this battery is two years old. No okay. come. So, and I paid a bunch for it, so it shouldn't be bad. It has five-year warranty. No come. Well... I guess you've done about all you can do. Yeah, I think so. I mean, if what you could do is if you get the codes, you know, read in the computer system, you can just reply back online with the codes and let me know. And I'll be happy to continue to point you in the right direction. But you might find or someone might find that there's a communication issue with one of these computers on board the vehicle. Okay, super. All right. That'll be the next step. Okay, it's a good day. All right, you're welcome. You too. Bye-bye.